Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host E-Day and today I'm bringing you some Funko Rewind unboxings. So I'm not too sure how I personally feel about Funko Rewind, but I will leave my opinion for the end of the video and we'll start with the unboxing for everybody that wants to see what is going to be inside of each of these. I have eight. They are eight different VHS cover Funko Rewinds. Did we get any chases? That's what you guys want to see, right? So we'll start off over here with Beauty and the Beast. All right, fingers crossed. I got my Lucky Gone shirt on today. Let's see, did we get the common or did we get the chase of Beauty and the Beast? I believe we got ourselves the common that fell out. <laughs> no, <laughs> we actually, we got the chase. Oh man, what the first one, we got a chase, nice. Now, what exactly is the difference? Okay, so the back, it shows the common is Belle with her basket. Okay, and the chase is her holding the book. Nice. Wow, guys. So that actually hit me like a ton of bricks because when I looked at it, I did not know if it was the chase or not until I flipped over the rewind card. The figure looks really nice. It's really, really small, which I'm starting to think isn't actually a problem. Since a lot of you guys are starting to collect the Biddy Pops, size, it really doesn't matter, right? I think it's a really cute figure, so if you're collecting specifically Bell merchandise, this is definitely a must-have. <laughs> Adorable. I put it right there. It's teeny tiny. We'll go on to the next one, and hopefully I will not drop this one out of the box. All right, so did we get the common or did we get the chase? This one, I do know, ha Leonardo has a different set of swords. One of them's crossed and the other one isn't. So which one did we get? We got the common. So yeah, this one, the character card is blue. So this one is a really cute version of Leonardo from the Ninja Turtles. Uh, it's got me thinking though that uh, since there's multiple different clamshells of the Ninja Turtles movie. Maybe they're going to release a version of every clamshell of the first and second movies and switch up the Ninja Turtles that are inside. This one would be Leonardo. And of course, everyone's going to be excited about Mikey, right? All right, so we got one chase and we got one common. The next one that we're going to go with is Jurassic Park. So this one, it's gonna be Ian Malcolm, so no dinosaur in this one. The difference between the common and the chase is gonna be him holding a flare. So did we get the common or did we get the chase? We got ourselves the common. Yep, and we got the blue character card. So he looks really cute, just like the other ones. These Funko Rewind are going to be very simplistic, you know? They're going to change the design a little bit. They don't want them to just be miniature Funko Pops or miniature versions of Funko Sodas. They need to look different than their other product line, which I do like this one. One thing that's cool are his glasses are separated from the rest of the figure, like the glasses can be moved. That's pretty cool. Alrighty, let's hit up the next one. This one I am actually the most excited for. It is Batman. So this one I am actually super excited about. Uh, the common is going to be Batman in his regular uniform. And the chase is going to be him, but in Joker colors. So let's see, did we get the common or did we get the chase? <gasps> we got the chase! We got the Chase Batman! Yes! Very, very cool. I am so happy that we got the Chase. It's always such a thrilling feeling to get the Chase. What's funny is I do like the common better because it is Batman in his true colors. The Chase, this is Batman with Joker colors. It seems kind of odd for the, uh, the 90s movie of Batman, but... This is the chase that they went with, the same mold, just different colors. Very cool, we have two chases so far, so I'm gonna keep going with Toy Story. This is probably one of the ones that you guys are most excited about, I know I am. All right, so this one is a little bit weird. The common is going to be Buzz Lightyear with the helmet on, 
and the chase is going to be Buzz Lightyear with his helmet off, so the see-through plastic is going to be missing. <laughs> did we get the common, or did we get the chase? We got ourselves... I believe this is the common. Let me check the card. Sorry. It is the chase! Yes! I got confused. Sorry. I forgot what I said. And he looks absolutely adorable. I think it's kind of silly that the common is him with the helmet on and the chase is him with the helmet off. You really could just take the common and remove the helmet. <laughs> but I am really happy that we have, out of five, we have three chases so far. And all of these I picked up at the same target. This is super exciting. I can't believe how many chases we've pulled so far. I grabbed these all at the same target. I grabbed one of each, and I was totally prepared with having an entire episode of Just Common. So let's keep going. The next one is Peter Pan. All right, so this one is actually pretty interesting. It is just like the six pack, the Funko Soda Cooler. The chase is going to be Peter Pan's shadow. So the common is Peter Pan, and the chase is gonna be the same mold, but all one color to signify that it's his shadow. Did we get the common or did we get the chase? Oh my God, we got another chase. I can't believe this. Wow. And now looking at this rewind figure, this Funko rewind figure, the Peter Pan is actually translucent. You can shine light through him. It is a very light gray color and it looks really cool. And I am so thrilled that this is the chase. So I, I can't believe this, guys. We've pulled three chases in a row. Honestly, I'm starting to think that this is not a one in six chance, that the chances of getting chases are going to be much higher. Which, if you think about it, it is a good idea. These things are a lower price point and kind of a niche audience. But like I said, I'm gonna hold my opinion to the end of the video. We have two more to open, and the next one is gonna be Pinocchio. So I am excited about this one, just like all of the other ones. This one, the common is gonna be Pinocchio, which is awesome by itself. And the chase is gonna be him with donkey ears. So what did we get? Did we get the common, or did we get the chase? I can't, I can't believe this, guys. We got another chase. Oh, so he actually looks super adorable. He's got more than just the donkey ears. If you look on the back, he's got a donkey tail, which I really like. Oh, nice. And you, if you look at his limbs, you can see the little stud for him being a wooden boy. This is so cool. This is a really good one. I'm actually surprised with the quality of this one. So it's kind of weird. We have pulled four chases in a row and I got all of these at the same target. They, some of these, they only had one left. So either I am insanely lucky or these guys have maybe a one in four or maybe even a one in two chance of pulling the chase. So we'll finish off the episode, of course, with Fantasia. And this one, it has a soft spot for me. I actually own this VHS tape. I used to watch this all the time as a kid. So this movie actually is really important to me. I love this movie a lot. I spent countless hours watching just this VHS tape over and over again. The difference between the common and the chase, the common is gonna be Mickey Mouse with his hands to his sides, dressed up in his wizard robe, and the chase is going to be him holding two buckets because he has to mop the floors. So which one did we get? Did we get the common or did we get the chase? We got the chase! Oh my God! So this Mickey Mouse is super cute and he is much smaller than even the other Funko Rewind figures. He's holding his two buckets and what's great is the feet can move. So they're not one solid piece, the feet are separate. Super adorable, I love this figure. So this blows my mind, really. We started with Bell, which I thought was absolutely amazing. We got uh, the common for Leonardo and for Ian, for Jurassic Park and for Ninja Turtles. And then we only got chases. So the only way I can explain this, other than being insanely lucky, is that these chases 
are not one in six. So I really 100% believe that it is a one in two chance. It has to be. With a 50-50% chance, we still got really, really lucky. So I'll talk about my personal opinion on this product now, which is kind of weird because I did my research before buying these guys at Target. I watched other YouTubers open these. And I watched people pull common after common after common. So this is pretty crazy to me. With my specific story on this one, I went to my nearest Target. I only went to one Target. They did not have the end caps set up. I went to the clearance section. It's like a staging area by the collector's corner where I guess employees just put product up and then it gets put to where it belongs. That's where I found these guys. There was only one bell left. There was a couple of Ninja Turtles, a couple of Jurassic Parks, a couple of Batmans, and then only one Toy Story, one Peter Pan, one Pinocchio, and one Fantasia left. So that is kind of weird. I have talked to employees at Target before, and they have told me that the restocking on Funko Sodas and Funko Rewind, well, I'm gonna assume Funko Rewind as well, but Funko Soda, 100%, Target employees told me that a Funko representative comes and sets up the end cap and fills it themselves. So it is not sent to Target and then Target employees fill it. There's only two ways that I can explain how lucky we got. Well, three, but I really don't think I got that lucky because if it's a one in six chance, you have to multiply six times six times six times six times six times six for me to get that lucky. That is a one in, I can't do the math. <laughs> the other two reasons are going to be that the chases are either one in two or one in four. But I'm leaning towards one in two because even with 50-50 chances, we got really lucky. And the second reason why I think this might have happened is actually kind of a pessimistic view. Maybe Funko's very first shipment of Funko Rewinds has an increased chance of chase to get people hooked. And that is a little distasteful to say on my part because really my collecting, it falls under gambling addiction. I'm going to tell you guys the truth. I am a collector and I got sucked into Funko Pops because I collect Hunter Hunter merchandise. So because Funko Pop had Hunter Hunter merchandise, we started collecting Hunter Hunter Pops. And that was the gateway into collecting multiple other fandoms of Funko Pop. So I was not a Funko Pop collector, I collect Hunter Hunter. Now I'm a Funko Pop collector. And then a little bit later, I got pulled into the Funko Soda because of Guardians of the Galaxy. And as soon as I got hit with that first chase, that feeling, I needed it again. So I started collecting the Guardians of the Galaxy, but the ones in the store were the Wakanda Forever, so I started collecting those as well. And some of them had the What If universe, so I collected those as well. And so on and so on. So you can see, I don't necessarily collect Wakanda Forever or What If, but I got pulled into it because of Guardians of the Galaxy. So now you could say I collect Funko Soda. This here with the chase, that feeling of capturing the chase is such a good feeling that I was getting it so much that I started getting confused, if you guys could tell. I wasn't sure if I was actually pulling this many chases at that point. So I'm thinking about the average fan. Let's say it's somebody who collects Beauty and the Beast, Belle, for example, or Disney or something like that. That'd be the gateway. Maybe they would have only pulled the Beauty and the Beast. Then they open it, and not only did they get the common that they thought was worth $11.99, they got the chase. And they get hit with that feeling of, oh, wow, I won something. Then they go from either being into Disney or Beauty and the Beast or Ninja Turtles or Batman or Jurassic Park. And of course, over here, Pixar, Disney, Disney, Disney. So that pulls people in from one fandom, like collecting Beauty and the Beast, to collecting Funko Rewind. Does that make sense to you guys? I'm super thrilled. I wanted these chases, I really did. And I love making YouTube content. 
So I'm kind of a special case. I really hope that this video was exciting for you guys. That really is the main draw for me to buy these products and showcase them. Getting the chases is a thrill, but mainly I do this because I love making videos for YouTube. So I really wanna know, what do you guys think of Funko Rewind? My personal opinion is they are much smaller than the other products. They're smaller than Funko Pop, they're smaller than Funko Soda, and if I could compare them, it's like comparing apples to oranges, right? Funko Soda to Funko Rewind, it's just a different case, a different packaging, and a smaller figure. Which when it comes down to chase collecting or figurine collecting, it really doesn't matter. The one fandom that I think is being overlooked are VHS collectors. Which I actually collect. I collect old school VHS tapes because yes, I am that old. <laughs> the nostalgia behind VHS tapes. I'll give you a little bit of backstory on me. We didn't grow up with a lot of money. I had under five VHS tapes as a kid and I would cycle through those VHS tapes over and over and over again. And there were rich kids in my neighborhood that had walls full of VHS tapes. So now I kind of go hunting to Goodwills for VHS tapes and I buy them for 99 cents. So I collect them now. And I think the VHS collector and the Funko collector and niche like Disney or Beauty and the Beast or even Ghostbusters, Jurassic Park, Batman collectors, they'll buy one of these figures, you know, as a one-off. It's worth the $11.99 if you think about it that way. Now, if you are a Funko Rewind collector, you really have to ask yourself, is the common worth $11.99? And if the answer is yes, then go ahead because you're gonna be happy with the common and the chase is going to be the extra. One other thing that I'm gonna add is VHS tapes, these clamshells, they break just as easy as the actual VHS clamshells. So that's one thing you don't have to worry about with Funko sodas, because normally the can's not going to be dented. You're gonna get a good looking can. These plastic things, a lot, a lot of these are bent. Some of them even have cracks along the top, so keep that in mind. So I had an amazing time opening up these. My mind is still blown with how many chases we ended up getting. Honestly, it's probably a one in two chance, which is a really smart move on Funko, but part of me feels a little bit weird about it because it does feel like it travels into gambling addiction. So if you enjoy content like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so that you're notified when I upload another episode. And also smash like and leave a comment down below. Which one of these figures is your favorite? And again, thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you in the next episode.